so today we're going to be going over how to make a clone comma. And for today's build, we're going to be using Captain Rex's comma for an example. Commas became traditional garments and recognized as a symbol of Mandalorian culture. So during the Clone Wars, commas or command skirts were an adaptation of the Mandalorian comma by the clone soldiers in the Galactic Republic's Grand Army. So what we did is we sent out two packages to two different people, Chad and Steve. In the gray corner, we have Steve. He hails from Southern California and loves nice walks on the beach. In the red corner, hailing from Pennsylvania, we have Chad. Chad likes to pick his nose. Here we go. Hi guys, Chad here. And today I got this package and let's see what's inside. So they sent me these two sheets of paper and a piece of cloth. Looks like they want me to make a comma for Captain Rex. I got this. Hey, thanks Chad, I'll take it from here. So if you're interested in making your own commas, all the materials and the templates that you're seeing that Chad and Steve use are in the description below. What he's doing is he cut out the template and he's cutting the fabric to the size of that template. The fabric is actually linked below, so you can check the description for the actual fabric. It's very similar to what Hot Toys uses. So once he cuts it down to size, he now has both sides of the comma. And Chad is going to use gaffer tape to make the sides of the comma. So he didn't use a template. You could have also cut the, the template out for the sides, but this is another way of doing it, I guess. So here we have him cutting out strips of gaffer tape. And then what he's doing is he's scoring the edges in and now he's folding the tape onto the edge of the nylon fabric. And then he goes around and he tapes it all the way around. And then he scores the edges on the curve so that it curves better and it doesn't clump up as much on the, the edges. He just lines it up and tapes it down and it's good to go after that. Once that's done, cut off the edges of the excess tape and it looks pretty good for just the black comma. Now he's doing the other side, it should be much faster. Get the first long edges down, taping down the middle parts. And then he's folding that in, and now he's folding it all down, and then cutting off the excess. And now he has one comma set, and what he's doing here is he's painting in the gaffer tape with a different color, so you can get blue. In this example, actually he's using a darker blue, like a 501st blue, but uh, you could also use a lighter blue to make it stand out a little more. This is actually an optional step. Chad actually waited for the paint to dry, and then what he's doing here is he's ironing the comma so that the tape is straight and flat. And that's what Chad has done. And let's go to the recap. So for the recap of Chad's build, we have something that came out to be pretty cheap to make. It's easy and it's also fast. So some of the downsides of this build is it's not super clean and lacks detail, but you can actually improve on that if you took your time to actually tape down the stripes and make them clean and lined up. So overall, not a bad attempt and pretty good. Now on to Steve. Steve here. So I got this package in the mail and it looks like I've been tasked with showing you guys how to make a Rex come. I was told that I would be going against Chad. Hope I win. So thanks Steve. So here's Steve opening the package and the first thing he does is throw away the templates. And that's because he went in the description below and downloaded the Cricut templates so that he could do this. So what he now has is a Cricut mat and he's taking the cloth and putting it on the top of the Cricut mat. A Cricut, if you look on Facebook Marketplace or on OfferUp, is actually pretty cheap. They're going for like 100, 200 bucks. Uh, brand new, they're kind of expensive, like three to $400. Here's him loading the fabric onto the mat. And then what he's gonna do is he's gonna take that design that I loaded and then he's going to go into the Cricut Design Maker and quickly continue. He's gonna look for his material, which is a nylon. This fabric is a nylon blend. And go ahead and cut that out. And so you can also use the template and cut out the base comma parts just like Chad did. But with the Cricut templates, it actually will make it perfect every time. So here's a blade you need for the Cricut to cut fabric. So he's pulling it off the mat and you'll see that it's actually a perfect cut every time. So if you wanted to make a lot of these, this is the best way to get a even beautiful cut without much effort actually and it comes out in like minutes or seconds so now what he has is iron on vinyl so what he's gonna do with this I believe is he's going to use the other template that I gave him he's gonna load the vinyl shiny side down onto the mat make sure that it's shiny side down and he's loading the template outline here uh, on a mat. It's going to continue. Go ahead and go through that. He's going to look for the material. What you're looking for is an iron-on vinyl, everyday iron-on. What he does is then clicks through the, and loads it into the machine. What this gives you is the outline that perfectly fits the fabric cut for the comma. And you can kind of see the design there. After that, what you do is you just cut out the patterns. 
you could actually print them a little closer or overlapping so you don't waste as much vinyl here but this is just a sample and then what you want to do is you want to take the negative vinyl off and so here he's wheedling down or out the vinyl that he doesn't want to have ironed on on both sides so this is the sides on one of them and then what you do is you place the clear side on top of the fabric like he did on that side he's actually cleaning up this other and so once you have that all lined up you put them both down you get a piece of wax paper or parchment and then you iron this on currently he's using a cotton blend setting he actually held the iron there for about 30 seconds all you have to do after that is peel off the clear sheet and you'll see a perfectly done comma piece so the other thing you can do, I think in this video we're only showing that he did one side, but he actually did that same process for both sides. So what Steve didn't do here is he didn't add any stitching to this comma. So what you can do is after you get this iron on vinyl, you can actually stick that into a sewing machine and add a stitched trim edge to the pattern on the vinyl. So I finally got the commas back and here's a head to head comparison. So on the left we have Steve's and on the right we have Chad's. You can see that if you look carefully, Steve's is a little cleaner with the lines and double sided compared to Chad's that is actually not it's only single sided you didn't paint the other side leave your feedback in the comments below on which comma you think is better and I think I've made up my mind drum roll please so the winner is Steve Steve's build is clean easy to make and easily repeatable some of the bad things about his build is that it, it needs expensive tools to make if you liked this video, please check out the video of me building a clone trooper in 60 minutes. Thanks.